So sometimes I like to do the news, but only when it's uh, not fluff and exciting news and Celsius. For all of you who felt safe and secure in Celsius, Celsius Network is pausing all withdrawals, swaps and transfers between accounts. Yeah, all right, let me just cut to the chase of this. You know, Celsius is paying people all kinds of high interest rates and everything else and blah, blah, blah. You know, earn like, you know, 15% on a stable coin and all of this nonsense. We take a look here. Due to extreme market conditions, we are announcing that Celsius is pausing all withdrawals. You know, where did you think the money was coming from? Okay, that they say that they're lending and this, that. If you look at the spread between what they're lending at and what they're paying you to lend to other people, it don't make sense. It never has. And they made a token, okay, the sell token. So they had a deal where you'd get even higher interest if you gave them your Bitcoin or Ethereum or whatever and took their token. Was about maybe five bucks, six bucks, seven bucks over the past year, right? And guess guess what? You get this really high interest rate. But what good is a really high interest rate when it goes from five dollars, okay, to what is it today? Twenty cents. Look in the last month. Look, obviously smoke on the horizon. You know this is like BitConnect, but more legit. This is why I never offered links for this and stuff. This is just as bad as everything else, except they made this look really legit. And let me tell you, all of these, BlockFi, do you know how many lawsuits there are? Okay, looking into BlockFi for the same thing. This is all the same as BitConnect and Regal Coin and everything from 2017, 18, except it's more legitimate. Okay, they KYC you. Big deal. They pay you a fraction of what those platforms paid you. And this is why crypto is crashing. This is why crypto is crashing. Because the people at Celsius are unloading their crypto to try to make the withdrawals, to try to raise the money to withdraw. And they are destroying Bitcoin. This is why it's crashing now. First, it was the Luna token, okay, with Don Quan or whatever, Du Quan. Dong, whatever his name is, nobody really cares. But the truth is, is that basically he created a shit token and a smart contract and got you all to believe into it called Luna. Okay, and everybody thought it was a great thing. Again, what do we have here? Interest horse. Interest horse. People just wanting these crazy yields like the DeFi idiots. Okay, and when these sketchy platforms, not talking about Celsius in general, these sketchy platforms ask you to KYC. Have you ever heard of identity theft? And you're giving your crypto to people you don't know who answer to nobody and who are probably shady. And you're giving them also all of your identifying information. So stupid. It's unbelievable. Only in crypto do we see crap like this. Let's do some other news. Okay, because I warned you about Celsius. Wait, I have to stop for a minute. Best Wrecked Award of 2022 already goes out to Michael Saylor. I tweeted this. Goes out to Michael Saylor, okay, who keeps buying the dip from well over 40000 Michael, you could get rich shorting. Psh, don't tell anyone. Yeah, I trade like this on Margex. Look, 700%, 800%. This is how you trade the crash, okay? This is how you can make money in crypto. Okay, not in DeFi nonsense, gobbledygook, whatever, just ripping the charts apart. And that's why I teach people how to do this. Okay, it's easy. Okay, and this was us, and then we, well, we hold on. What was this? This was yesterday. This is not, wait, yeah, I might have closed these in a loss. I have no idea what happened to those. But after all of these, who really cares, right? Hold on, why is this moving? Had all these screenshots saved up here. This was epic, unbelievable, life-changing. And you know what? I wasn't sitting in Celsius, all right, when your $10,000 is now worth 20 cents on the dollar. 
and you're earning interest. How do you feel about that? Oh, and they have your crypto, by the way, and you can't have it back. The same thing with all the stupid eat staking and all that garbage that's going on. You stake with Coinbase, okay? You have to give them your crypto, and they're going to take a portion of your staking. And again, there's no insurance. There's nothing, really. Jay-Z and Jack Dorsey collaborate to launch Bitcoin Academy, and most aren't happy. Let me tell you what this is straight up. Look who's involved. Three people who would never hang out together at all. Okay. Even these two. That's why they're so that's why they're social distancing. But what is this? This is propaganda. It's propaganda to get everybody to accept digital currency. Okay. It's the whole thing, the whole thesis behind Bitcoin being allowed. So that we can have a digital worldwide currency. You'll have a card, no more cash. Okay, it's a government issue card. <laughs> you call it the Chivo wallet, like El Salvador which is a disaster. So yeah, this is just a fluff piece. You know what? Don't even waste your time reading it. Let's see what the next thing I say for you is. ApeCoin. Remember this crap? Let's check that on CoinMarketCap. Hold on. ApeCoin, right? Hold on. This is going to be epic. What the hell? Cooperate with me, everything. All right. Let's take a nice look at ApeCoin. Uh, Ape um, got as high as $21. And now it's three dollars and forty eight cents. Great pick. That worked out really well. I don't like old coins. For me, it's buy, hold, masturbate, and pray. And then none of you ever take profits. All we do is take profits. But hey, we're degenerate crypto traders. You can hear more about that on my other channels. Interesting news. The SEC investigates Binance ICO. Now look, you are never ever out of reach of the United States government. Look at what happened with all the Russian super yachts of the oligarchs and the people close to him, you know, put in. Anyway, so they can reach anywhere, anywhere around the world. Okay, it makes you wonder what's going to happen to Oscar Lopez in the Dominican Republic with cash FX because, because we wonder, oh, well, did you see that they actually seized the vessel? In, in the Dominican Republic? Yeah, one of the super yachts. That's another whole story. I covered it in other news. It's super interesting. Look, privacy coins. Never, ever liked privacy coins. You people think you're so smart with your Monero. It's cake wallet. Oh, I watched this guy, this stupid YouTuber that dedicated his channel to uh, Monero. Just go off the air. And he's like, for personal reasons, uh, I can't do this anymore, blah, blah, blah. Why? Because no government wants you to have privatized crypto, okay? All privacy talk. And all they got to do is cut you off at the exchanges. So you can't cash it out, okay? You could trade it with your friends like World of War, Warcraft cards or Dungeons and Dildos games. Who knows, okay? But... Truth is, they can cut it off. And you know what happened to Litecoin? Litecoin is, is garbage. It's always been, okay? I remember Charlie Lee, the founder of Litecoin, the founder of Litecoin, okay, selling out three years ago at $300. I'm not going to look up what it is on the charts, probably like 40, 50 bucks. So Litecoin, let me tell you, they add a layer, okay, because it's a copy of Bitcoin. So they, they add a protocol to it that, is going to have a privacy feature. Boom! Immediately, exchanges in South Korea banned it. Just like that. Okay, no more Litecoin. So all your Monero, all your pirate chain, all your stuff, you think you're so smart. Guess what? You've been outsmarted. What's the next piece I saved? Oh, Ethereum. Ethereum had had a dump. I told people in advance, short Ethereum. Everybody says they tell you in advance, but I actually show you. I could probably find it here. All right. Let's see. Boom. So this is my Discord server. There's links below. It says Discord and console. Yeah, we were absolutely killing it, killing it, killing it yesterday. The people love shorting. You got to learn shorting. Okay. So War of 27 has begun, blah, blah, blah. Let me see. Let's see if I can find the E thing here. Oh, here we go. Yes, say 325. I told you short ETH, blah, blah. Yeah. Okay. They lost their peg, okay, on a stable coin related to Ethereum. 
It's going to send massive ripples through the Ethereum community, okay? And obviously the price. And so that's what happened here, okay? So your Ethereum just got whacked. What do we got here? Celsius, we went over that. What other news we got? Uh, yeah, that's it. So, you know, um, what do you say? Do better things with your crypto. Learn to trade your crypto. Don't fall for technical analysis. It's crap. And um, you're lucky I did the news. Leave me comments if you like the news, because I don't bother doing the news unless it's great news to talk about. And I told you, even in my free telegram, get out of Celsius three weeks ago. Now, okay, withdrawals. And the only one who could confirm this for me is Crypto Muscle. Okay, he, he heeded the call, all right, to my get out of Celsius warning about three weeks ago. Nobody else seen this one coming, but I did. You know why? Some of the goddamn oracle. All aboard, goddamn Oracle Express. Boom. I'm